Hello and welcome to Fenextra. I'm Emily Haller and I'm here with John Mason of Thomson Reuters. And we're talking about FRTB and what approaches are needed to resolve modelable risk factors. Thank you for joining me. Pleasure. What trends and developments are you seeing in the market? We're starting to see certainly the large sell side banks now take FRTB very seriously. FRTB has been around since uh, 2016, but in the last six months or so, banks have certainly started to address how they can source the data that helps them model their risk factors. The alternative is the standardised approach. Um, some organisations feel that FRTB is perhaps trying to encourage organisations to adopt a standardised approach. But certainly the larger organisations want to continue using their internal models and that means they need to understand how they can map those internal models and those internal risk factors to the market data that FRTB requires. Why do you think the industry is considering alternate solutions? The implications of the amount of capital that an organisation may have to set aside are you know, very large numbers that are being talked about within the industry. Those num numbers range from something like 50% additional capital to potentially 900% additional capital if an organisation can't model its risk factor, has what's called a non-modelable risk factor. And at those sorts of numbers, then an organisation is probably determining whether it should actually stay in a particular asset class or stay in a particular business, rather than worrying about another area or another way of calculating its capital. So organisations are looking at how they can model their risk factors, prove out to the regulator that uh, they're justifiable so that they don't necessarily have to put the huge amounts of capital aside that they're concerned about at the moment. So how do you think the market will respond overall to FRTB? I think the larger organisations will look to utilise their own models. Um, that's something we've had from numerous meetings with clients where uh, there's a real desire to continue to use their own uh, risk factors and their own models. That brings its own challenges, mapping the taxonomies between internal risk factors and market data brings certain challenges that we're looking to work with clients on. But I think most of the large banks will address it by, by trying to model their own. Smaller organisations may wish to utilise some form of utility provision in the marketplace where they're not bringing their own models to the table per se, but perhaps utilising models that uh, a third party organisation um, is putting into a, a utility or into a service provider. So I think the market will uh, resolve itself into, into different areas. There'll be those who go down the standardised approach. There'll be those that I think may use um, an industry utility to provide the information and the, um, the modelable side of things that they're after and then there'll be the large organisations who look to utilise their own models but against a, a standard data set. John, thank you very much. My pleasure. And thank you for watching.